Welcome back dear viewers and for the second segment we're going to talk about orthodontics which is a specialty in dentistry that deals with the correction of misaligned teeth and jaws. It has now become a fashion trend for both men and women because of the lack of regularity in the natural position of teeth. Orthodontics have gained a lot of popularity more recently than before due to the extensive advertising and the fact that people strive to achieve a specific image of beauty and appropriateness which instantly boosts the confidence of a lot of people. In addition, there are problems of speech and tooth decay resulting from crowding in of teeth and their malocclusions of with each other. To solve those problems, the world of dentistry has provided the braces and in all its kinds and shapes to repair and align and restore a nice looking smile at everyone who needs it. So to know more about that or about braces and its types and its appropriate age for it, we are happy to have Dr. Ashma Kawalikar, a general practitioner dentist, to answer all of our questions. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Medipedia, Dr. Ashma. Hello, good evening. Welcome, Thank you for having me. We're a pleasure actually to have you here. So, Dr. Ashman, can you tell us about braces and what are the purpose of it or the main purpose? Let's say if it's not for fashion, specifically we're talking about <laughs> yeah. if it's for treatment. Yeah. yeah. So, braces are uh, wire-based appliances which are used in orthodontics. Yeah. And uh, they're made up of these small brackets or which are actually small squares that are attached or glued onto your teeth individually. Yeah. And, and they have a wire which runs across the, your teeth and yeah. connects these brackets together. So how it works is at every appointment, your uh, orthodontist will tighten these wires yeah. and which will cause a force or pressure to be applied onto your teeth and that will move them into the favorable position. So this is how braces help in either straightening or aligning or basically moving teeth into yeah. a proper position. So okay. this is why braces are used for, uh, they're used if your teeth are too crooked or yeah. um, they are too crowded or there's too much spacing between your teeth. Mm. And even to just improve your day-to-day -day functions such as um, the ability to chew properly <coughs> or even speech and phonetics. Wow. So, Dr. Ashma, can we talk about the best age to make the first visit to the orthodontist? Uh, what age is recommended? Uh, the best age would be around uh, 10 to 14 years of age. Mm, nice. uh, there are two reasons for this. This is because uh, at this age, uh, kids have what we call as the mixed dentition. Mm -hmm. um, it basically means that there are both the milk teeth as well as mm. uh, the permanent teeth in the mouth. Yeah. So this is when most of the abnormalities are detected. Um, and also it is at this stage to when the, the face and the, the head and the jaw are still developing. Mm. And braces are most effective at this age. Mm. So it's best to start um, early. It's also been observed that the earlier you start, the faster the treatment time is. Okay. And, and for people who had braces, uh, Dr. Ashma, how long does he, does he need to wear it? Or does it need uh, longer or depending on the situation or the age of the patient itself? Yes, uh, this actually depends from, it varies from person to person. Okay. And Perfect. it also depends on the severity of the case. Uh -huh. um, and also on how compliant the patient is, that is how well the patient follows the instructions of, of the course, doctors and course, yeah. keeps up with the uh, the appointments. Uh, but on an average, it will take uh, anywhere between about six months to up to two years. Perfect, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, Dr. Ashma, um, we know that l maybe adults or uh, older people wear the braces for longer, but is there an age limit where you don't offer the braces for, for the adults or is that not related? No, there is no age limit for uh, getting braces done, which is a good thing. Uh, but you just have to make sure that uh, your teeth and the structures around your teeth, that is your gums and your bone, are in perfectly healthy condition. Mm, mm, mm. So you can get braces at any age. I see. Dr. Do, Ashma, we have still many more questions. Please, dear viewers, let's watch this next report and we will complete our discussion with our guest. Stay with us. A fabric mask acts as a barrier to prevent the spread of the virus. 
It must be used correctly and always combined with other measures to protect yourself and everyone else. When wearing a fabric mask, clean your hands before putting it on. Inspect the mask and do not use it if it is damaged or dirty. Cover your mouth, nose and chin. Adjust the mask to your face, leaving no gaps on the sides. Avoid touching the mask while wearing it. Change your mask once it gets dirty or wet. To take off the mask, clean your hands first. Remove it by the straps behind the head or ears without touching the front of the mask. As you remove the mask, pull it away from your face. Clean your hands after taking off any mask. If you need to reuse a fabric mask, store it in a clean, resealable bag. Hold the mask at the elastic ends when removing it from the bag and make sure it is not dirty or wet before using it again. Wash fabric masks in soap or detergent, preferably with hot water, at least once a day. Make sure you have your own mask and do not share it with others. When wearing a mask, make sure you know how to put it on, use it, remove it and discard it or wash it correctly. Remember that a mask alone cannot protect you. When wearing a mask, continue to adopt other measures to prevent the spread of the virus. Stay at least one meter away from others. Clean your hands frequently and thoroughly and avoid touching your face and mask. Stay safe and let's all prevent the spread of COVID-19. Welcome back to viewers and we are with Dr. Ashma. Uh, Dr. Ashma, so as a patient or a person wearing braces, what is the best way to take care of them? And if there are anything that we should or must avoid, what are those? Uh, the most important thing to do is to follow your patient's, uh, your doctor's instructions okay. and uh, never miss your appointments. And uh, apart from that, so when you have braces, it can be a little bit difficult to keep your teeth clean uh, because of too many things in your mouth. So that's why we recommend that you be even more regular with your teeth brushing and your flossing. Uh, you may use uh, a fluoridated toothpaste or water flosser and an alcohol-free mouthwash. Uh, if you're not able to do so, what happens is there ends up being a lot of uh, plaque and calculus buildup, yeah. which will cause gum inflammation and in turn it will um, slow down the movement of the teeth so it will interfere with your treatment. So that's why it's very important to okay. keep your teeth clean at all times. Mm. Um, and coming to what the, the type of foods to avoid, yeah. uh, it's best to avoid eating anything hard, such as okay. biting into mm. apples or mm. hard nuts or carrots mm. or mm. something like that's ice, mm. which can cause the parts that are stuck onto your teeth to break off or even the wire to bend. Uh -huh. um, and it's best to avoid uh, eating anything sticky like gum or caramel. Uh, which will stick on to yeah. these parts and make it even more difficult to clean. Yeah. Uh, and also, um, this is for everyone, it's best to uh, avoid uh, consuming too much of sugary drinks, which yeah. which will break down the, which will weaken the, uh, the tooth structure and cause decay. Mm. You know, Dr. Ashman, we were talking, uh, me and Alia uh, earlier, uh, so we know some people that had braces for years actually, for three to four years. Longer even. Yeah, yeah. longer even maybe. Yeah. So how is that possible? Is that good? Is that bad? Is there a treatment option that would long would last for three or four years? Does this mean that they probably went for the wrong option or something wrong is going on with them and yeah. they need to be alerted? <laughs> Uh, yeah, some patients, it, as I said earlier, it depends from yeah. case to case. There are some uh, uh, people which have severe crowding or severely mm. crooked teeth or the upper or the lower teeth, they do not come in proper contact okay. together. Okay. So in those cases, uh, sometimes the orthodontic treatment can be prolonged. Mm. Um, and it also depends on the, the patient compliance. Suppose yes. the patient is not adhering to the doctor's instructions okay. properly. Mm. Um, 
it does not mean that once you have braces on and you're visiting your dentist, um, the dentist will take care of it for you. Mm. Uh, of course, there are some things that the patient needs to do themselves, like uh, you might be prescribed to attach some certain rubber bands on your teeth or uh, wear a retainer or something like that. Okay. So there are, there are a lot of things involved in it. So all of this, the time taken for the treatment, it mm. depends on uh, a lot of factors. Okay. Yeah. That's Absolutely. a little bit reassuring. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dr. Ashma, can we talk about the children? For example, um, how can we convince them with the idea that they need braces? Because I know for a fact that some children will outright refuse to wear braces. Yeah. How can we convince them that this is going to be important for them? So it's very normal for kids to feel nervous about getting uh, braces fitted. Um, what parents can do is explain to them that uh, they will just have only a little bit of discomfort mm. uh, at the in the first few hours or the first few days actually uh, after their doctor's appointment and this will gradually disappear. Mm. So parents can also encourage them to um, keep up with their doctor's appointments by offering them their uh, a favorite their favorite cold ice cream or a yummy treat after the appointment mm. or even they can um, make them focus on um, the the benefit of the end result of the treatment by telling them things like you'll have a really good smile later on you will you'll be more confident you'll be able to eat yeah. well yeah. Um, and also what really helps is if the orthodontist himself or herself explains to the child um, the steps involved in the procedure while he or she is doing it. So that really helps to calm the child down while they're doing the treatment in the clinic. And it just occurred to me, if you show them pictures of people who did the braces and didn't yeah, do the yeah, braces, yeah. that so will so probably change their minds yeah. immediately. <laughs> uh, but, but Dr. Ashman, I have a question actually. Yeah. And braces are mostly involved with treating the misaligned teeth themselves. Let's say if I had a skeletal issue, for example, if I had a small mandible or a small maxilla or whatever, what options do I have? So that is the other branch of orthodontics, yeah. uh, which, which will involve um, not only braces, but okay. also uh, other skeletal um, appliances, okay. uh, like such as a headgear or something like that. Um, th that is more for uh, a, a, spe uh, a specialist, an orthodontist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what, what is, uh, what can also be, what they do is actually, um, they take uh, the X-ray, your X-ray, yeah. orthophallometric X-ray, which is yes. the side of your, which shows the side of your skull, okay. and they evaluate the upper and the lower jaws. So that's how it's, that, that's how the process starts, and then. Um, the, the doctor decides on what appliances are required and if orthognathic surgery uh -huh. is required or not to move the particular jaw forward or backward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so mm -hmm. Dr. Ashma, at the, at the end, are there any reassuring words on your side for the people who think they need braces or they actually need braces and still didn't get them? Any reassuring words on your side on that? So if you or your family um, have any problems related to misalignment uh, with your teeth, uh, it's always worth making, a, making an appointment uh, with your orthodontist to discuss all the options. So um, don't fear visiting the dentist. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's great. Wow. <laughs> uh, to you. be honest, Dr. Ashram, I really enjoyed talking to you. You're amazing. Mashallah, you have lots of information. So any last words you have thank before you. we conclude our episode? Thank you. At the end, thank you so much, Dr. Ashma. Uh, I'm 